Oh, that's some hot coffee. Not as hot as me, but, you know, pretty hot. Morning, guys. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday morning. Hope all is well. <laughs> well, I think I found a place. I've been looking all day, been looking all day yesterday. Uh, it's been uh, a little gut wrenching. Not really, because it's just so hard. It's just, I don't even know where the fuck, you know, everything's all, I'm so lost out here. So anyways, yeah, I'm about to head out soon. Um, I'm about to go grab my Uber in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go see this place, which by the way, it's by that park, which I love to go eat at. So that's a good thing. I'm actually pretty excited because honestly, I already talked to the guy on the phone and as long as the place checks out, like in the sense of like, you know, it's not some weird place, everything should be awesome because again, the area is, I, I honestly, I think it's better than where I'm at now, so. So it's just, I'm in the central part, like in the downtown area. So like right now I'm like west or east, east, I think. But like this place would be north of that. So it'd be, again, way better. And it's just, it's closer to that Paseo Montejo area, one with all the bikes and the beautiful area. Anyways, I'm super fucking excited. So that way I can just get back to work already and stop looking for a place. And this place seems cheap and awesome. And let me just stop talking here because I feel like I haven't fucking done any videos in a long time. So anyways, yeah, you'll guys see the places later. Well, I just got home right now after a nice long day. Everything was fucking awesome. I don't know if you saw the place. I think I filmed it. It's just everything was just a, such a rush. But anyway, I found the place. Thank God. It's been raining all day. It's been, uh, you know, just crazy, crazy. I haven't stopped, but I'm, I'm very excited because I finally get to finish it all off on Friday. Found the place. Get to move in. Everything's wonderful. Cool gonna miss this place the lizards and all but there's other places pretty bomb diggity and it's really close to that place that i really like to eat at so that's really cool too um also the guy that picked me up the guy that picked me up was uh the guy that was supposed to get me that stuff so it all worked out perfectly in the sense that like as soon as i was done over there he called me up hey where, bum, bum, where are you at now i'm close by boom boom so it all worked out great whirlwind so now i'm back home and I still got some stuff to do, so I'm trying to decide what my next move is. But uh, regardless, I got a lot of shit off my plate today, so oh, I feel so fucking happy. Well, I'm on my way home. Got me some fucking tacos. A long ass fucking day. I got dropped off a couple blocks early because the bus was like standing room only. Standing room only. So like I li literally had to. Yeah, the bus was standing room only. And I uh, literally had to like jump off the bus and I jumped off a little early. No, oh, whatever, so I gotta walk an extra block or whatever. Yeah, but it was fucking interesting. As I was calling off for the bus, like it barely stopped to put me on. And then when I got on, like, that shit was jammed like fucking sardines. And then, you know, I was like barely holding on all the way with my food and my fucking tacos and the whole fucking thing. And then, yeah. Uh, and as it was getting close to my exit, I literally had to like jump off but it was all right, it was cool. It was a fun experience. I got here quick though. All right, taco time. Of course, as soon as I start my live broadcast, a few minutes in, look at that, I got the cable guy here. So I had to like stop the broadcast in the middle and uh, hopefully this won't take too long. <laughs> all right, I got a new internet finally. There's the modem there. I'm only going to use it for less than a week because I'm out of here soon. And I even got a phone. Look at that. A landline. Heh. <laughs> Who knew? Also, the church has been buzzing all day. A lot of noise coming from next door. I had no idea. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning out here. 9, 30, 10. And, uh, yeah, it's a graduation. I forgot. Like, um, everyone just graduated from school. Here, too. Well, uh, that escalated quickly. I was watching or trying to find the game and it was 0-0 zero, zero, and before I knew it, now it's 2 nothing. Well, I guess back to work. <laughs> Forget watching the game.
Hey, did you see those cool ass fucking logos? A really good friend of mine, uh, a super fan, a fucking, you know, awesome friend uh, from the whole crypto thing. He made those for me. He made those for uh, for the whole thing. So pretty fucking awesome, right? Yeah, I'm really humbled and taken aback and happy as fuck, you know, that uh, I have so many of you guys from the community um, helping me out with so many things. But especially a huge shout out to you, John, you know, for not only helping us, helping the whole community with Discord, but with the logo. Seriously, thank you, John, for everything you've done and everything you've been doing. And, and thank you for everybody else out there, too, as well. But seriously, thank you, John. That's just fucking awesome. They look super cool. And I can't wait to put them on the videos and everywhere else. I can't wait to get to my new spot because on days like this when it's freaking raining and I can, you know, just wait for it to die down and walk over to my favorite place to go eat. Here, I can't really do that. It sucks. Yeah, I mean, there's really nowhere to eat out here. I have to, it's always like either a bus ride or it's a while away. So, pizza again tonight. God, I'm getting, I'm really getting tired of pizza. I never thought I'd say that, but, hmm. Tomorrow, I'm waking up early and going into town, doing some groceries, buying stuff that I need, and uh, yeah, I'm planning ahead so I can go out and get some food at some point. I've been working a lot on the computer, that's why. Getting work. Alright, seems like it's clearing up a little bit. It's raining all day yesterday, all afternoon, all night. I wasn't able to go out or do anything, so I'm gonna see if I can get an early start today and go and buy all the stuff that I need to buy for the house. Yeah, so I came out here real quick to the city to run some errands, and then all of a sudden, like, I was trying to just cut through a shortcut, and I ended up in this middle of a museum, I think. I think I'm in a museum. I don't know. Correction, it wasn't a museum, it was just a bank. <laughs> It's just that we have so few of these back home already. So, you know, these huge ass fucking buildings that are a bank. That was a museum. What well, kind of is? Well, just taking a little bit of a breather out here at a Starbucks. <laughs> you know, I, I want to be filming more, but at the same time, it's like I want to enjoy the city. And like, it's like if I'm filming everything, then I'm just being a fucking tourist. And, you know, I got to enjoy everything. Like, Part of enjoying life and enjoying, you know, enjoying your surroundings is literally living in the moment, being in the moment and just, you know, taking it all in and just living here and being here, you know, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's very, really cool. For me, it's a little backwards because usually as a tourist, you know, you're always in the touristy areas and then when you walk a little too far into the wrong areas, you know, like, uh oh, it's, you know, some trouble. But for me, it's kind of the opposite. I'm living in like the regular area and then when I stumble into tourist areas, I'm like, also, I finally found one of these. Hooray. Oh, and by the way, this is the only design they really had. It was either this or like a bunch of like, you know, Confederate flag, uh, Southern um, stuff. All right, so some lady just approached me in a nurse uniform, so I'm older lady, and offered to take my pressure and measure my heart. Anyway, she just gave me like a quick little uh, check up. She said I'm just as healthy as, healthy as a 15 year old That's funny because she was just like don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's just gonna be fine I'm not asking for money or asking for anything. This is what we do out here in Mexico. We actually take care of people and I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Thanks. I appreciate it All right Let's See One thing I hate about hanging on any touristy area no matter what the fuck the city is people just fucking approach you all the fucking time asking for money like just for being, you know, for giving you a smile. They're like, hey, how's it going? You got any money? I'm like, no, I don't. I'm not. Give me a, give me a fuck out of here. That's why I just blend it, right? I really don't hang out in the fucking touristy areas and I hang out with the peeps, you know what I mean? Because, um, yeah, <laughs> they, don't try and, they don't try and run that game on me when I'm hanging out with them. You know, only out here because, you know, there's a bunch of suckers out here. Well, I forgot it was laundry day, so I'm gonna go take care of that. That should be the last errand I run for the day. And then they get to get on the computer and start working because I got a lot of shit to do. I got money to make. Finally. Yee! Round two.
you know, I honestly never thought I would be saying this, but I think I need to add on some weight. I'm like at 190 pounds, which is like the lightest I've ever been. And every time I see like the hottest fucking chick out here, I always see her with like a fat guy. <laughs> I know in some cultures, uh, being fat, like when there's not many fat people around, that kind of constitutes like, oh, like I must have money, wealth, power, I don't know, some shit like that. So I'm guessing that's what they're thinking out here. I don't know. <laughs> also, maybe they just like uh, big cuddly bear type guys, you know what I mean? the fuck do I know? Regardless, I gotta start packing on those pounds. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Horrible. Hey guys, sorry, not sorry today. <clears throat> and for last night, I've been really fucking busy and uh, just taking care of a lot of stuff. So, I'm uh, sorry for not being here. I'm about to go to my new place later today so I can get the key, pay rent, do the whole thing. It's Friday, there's a lot of things I'm probably gonna go out tonight, etc. etc. I'm about to go live on YouTube. So I'm gonna be on YouTube for a little while now. I'm gonna be live, um, hanging out till like around 2.30, give or take, and then I'm heading out to my, get my new place and so on and so forth. So you guys will probably join me for a little bit later, not now. I'm actually really fucking excited to head out there today, finally get the key and take care of that because if you guys have been following me, I've been kind of struggling looking for a home <laughs> for like the last several months, like I want to say two, three months, you know? It's literally taken me, um, again, like about three months and it's taken me all the way across to the other side of the, not the other side of the world, but you know, to the other side of Mexico, that's for sure, and very far from where I originally started, so. But the place I'm gonna be at, um, if you guys saw my video from the other day, the one when I was shooting in the, during the weekend and the bicycles and the really nice area, that Paseo Montejo area, that's where I'm gonna be moving to, that area. So, location, location, lo I mean, I know it sounds stupid, corny, you hear this shit all the fucking time, but it really is about manifesting and creating your own world, your own universe and everything in, 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 in forward. Because, you know, literally where I'm gonna be living, that's where I want to be living, you know, so. I'm, I'm on, I'm literally streaming live and posting something here. And I should be streaming live here too. It'll be like a, like a weird matrix. Maybe we can break the matrix. But anyways, I'm live guys. All right, so check me out. Well guys, what do you think? This is a new place. I'm gonna be here pretty much, uh, well, as soon as I get rid of the other place. I'm gonna see if I can check out early. But if not, I'll definitely be here by next week. I'm really happy with this place. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Definitely a little bit more of a homey feel to it. Definitely feels a lot, I don't know, just um, just nicer, you know? This place also does come with its own, own set of new challenges, but I can't wait to tackle them. 
I've pretty much lived in all kinds of environments, you know, from very high class, high end to really like, you know, camping style, like barely, you know, making it, you know, most of them by choice. And again, like this one, it's just, I mean, I can't wait to tell you about everything. I'm going to leave it with this one. So I keep hearing in Mexico that you can't flush your toilet paper down the toilet, but where I live, it hasn't really been a problem. Anyway, so here the guy told me, hey, you can't be flushing paper down the toilet here. So I was like, mm. all right, guys, so I'm going to get the fuck out of here already. It's been fun, but I got a lot of things to do. I got a lot of work to do and uh, yeah, start getting ready because it's already getting late afternoon and it's Friday night. I'm going to have some fun, some sort of fun, any kind of fun. Yeah, so, uh, funny story, um, I already managed to lock myself out, I don't know how to figure this out. I got the landlord coming back and helping me out, hopefully. Well, I did learn one lesson, this place is secure as fuck, so, thank God for that. Me and my paranoid dumbass, <laughs> so, you know, a fucking bulldozer to fucking get in here. <laughs> Alright, so that's, like, the lock situation. I finally figured it out. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, it's like some secret thing in Majigi I gotta work, but it's like super old school and super secure. Also, today is hot as fuck, so it's like, feels like summer. Another cool thing I just noticed about my neighborhood is like literally as soon as I walk out of my house, the house next to me is a corner store. Fuck yeah. I can already tell the neighborhood, this neighborhood here, is a million times better than the other neighborhood I'm in for sure so and I'm still just as close you know to the to the action just a better neighborhood by far so yeah my next move is to get a bicycle because as you can see now you know the neighborhood I'm in so if you watch my bicycle video you already know where I'm at see fuck yeah Well guys, I'm about to head out. I got a date. Smell you later, alligators. Hope you guys have a fun weekend. Well, I hear they don't have Lyft, but they have like this other service that I forgot what it's called. But anyway, I'm waiting for that other service because the fucking Uber is gonna be like double the price or triple. And I'm going far as fuck. I'm going all the way to the north part. Yeah, so this girl I'm gonna meet, she's like at the other opposite end of the, the city. So it's like a 25 minute ride, I think, probably more. Hoping it's less waiting for the fucking Uber, or whatever. Where the fuck is it? Got lost. All right guys, check this out real quick, all right? I'm waiting for her. So look, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like any other shopping mall, any other place. I'll switch the camera in a minute, but yeah, look, I mean, for real. I know it's hard to see, but anyways, I'm just like in every other fucking shopping mall in every other fucking city. I hate being here. I miss back, I miss, I miss where I live. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I haven't been around all day. I just realized that. Um, yeah, I had a great night, late morning, and I've been working all day, so. My plans for today are to pretty much work all day and make some money. That's what I'm doing right now, just some freelance work. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go out again tomorrow night, tomorrow with uh, my friend. I'm probably not going to be on Instagram very much today, if at all. But um, probably back tomorrow. By the way, if you, miss me that, <clears throat> if you miss me that much, just go to my YouTube channel. I was on live earlier today. Actually, I was on the World Crypto Network. Um, yeah, I was kind of like uh, talking and kind of being interviewed and vice versa and uh, just a crypto chat. It was about an hour long, give or take. I'm actually uploading it right now.
All right, last one, I promise. So yeah, I spent all day hanging out with my friend uh, at the mall and uh, just hanging around the North Park. I swear to God, I just feel like I'm in fucking Miami here. Like, for real, besides a few different names and different places. Uh, even some parts of LA, like seriously, it's very, very familiar, very similar. Um, like, for real, like if you closed my eyes and put, you know, took me away from LA or Miami and brought me here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just, uh, you know, it's a really cool observation, you know, like, the more you know. I gotta get the little rainbow thing, so, you know, anyway. But yeah, it's fucking awesome out here. Seriously. And cheaper. If you guys can't figure out what the fuck I'm doing, um, I'm waiting for my lady friend to come out of the, the closet, you know, she's trying on some clothes and stuff, so. Yeah. I've been shopping all day. Not me. Her. Yeah, I think God I brought a blunt this time because, you know, I'm dying to smoke. Well, I'm smoking a little while. Still having some fun. Definitely need some drinks. Some tacos, too. Not chilies. <laughs> hey, guys. Happy Monday. And hope you guys have an amazing 4th of July week. I just realized it's uh, the 2nd today. So, yeah. I myself have a crazy busy week already up ahead. I've already been up all morning, already did a live broadcast, did a bunch of stuff. I gotta put away my laundry, I gotta start packing, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah. I know I was uh, gone for the weekend. I haven't really been on Instagram or YouTube for the last couple days. It's just uh, been a little busy. I met a friend out here and I've uh, been having a great time. If you guys are following my stories, you already know what's up. So. I swear, I think I, I think I know I'm dancing. I promise. All right, I've already been packing, got all my shit ready to go. Tomorrow, start moving over to the new place, and I'll probably be at the new place by tomorrow. That's right. So right now, I'm just gonna do a little bit of my workout. Just warming up. I'm already warmed up anyway, just living out here. But uh, just doing a little workout, take a shower. Oh no, do some filming, take a shower, do some work, get some tacos. Alrighty, on my way back home. My tacos, fucking starving. I haven't really eaten much in, uh, well actually I've been working out. Last for several days, so I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, July 3rd, 2018, and welcome back. Welcome. Sorry, I forgot to do any Instagram stuff today. I've been busy already this morning. So, yeah, I already got everything nice and packed. I don't know if you can see it over there gonna head to a new place today and still gonna come back over here but hopefully I'll probably just be sleeping here one more night and I'll be at the new place tomorrow so yeah I'll be at the new place tomorrow I might be sleeping here one more night just because um, I got some things to do tonight and uh, I still got to get like my other place up and running so who knows I might be tomorrow is the 4th of July though I, I completely forgot I kind of spaced out until this morning so I guess I'm gonna be moving you know, or I'll be officially in my new place on the 4th of July. 
Uh, no, people don't celebrate it out here. You know, I just thought of something. It would actually be pretty fucking hilarious if Mexicans celebrate the 4th of July like Americans celebrate Cinco de Mayo. How about them apples? Think about that. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be interesting. Well, guys, <clears throat> I'm already here. Um, I've been doing some filming, as you can see. But I'm um, already got here. There's my stuff there. Um, just check out the little movie I'm going to make about this, all right? Also, it's hot as fuck. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's July. It's midsummer. Anyways, yeah, it's scorching, but feels good. Yeah, babe. Look at this. Look at this. Well, <clears throat> I just dropped everything off at the crib. Now I gotta go back and get some more stuff, get some supplies, fill up the crib. I'm probably gonna end up doing that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I still got a lot of shit to do, so. Cool, I'm home. You know, as I was uh, driving through, walking through the new neighborhood I'm in now, wow, total difference. Wow, <laughs> I can see, um, I think I am in the hood out here. <laughs> the other part of town, You just on the other side is like, so, yeah, I mean, I'm literally like in one of the worst neighborhoods in this area, you know, this is the worst down south, but still, as bad as it can be for out here, it's actually pretty good. So anyways, alright guys, see you guys later. Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to wish everybody out there, happy 4th of July, no matter where the fuck you are, no matter what country you're in, uh, America. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, as you guys know, I'm a proud American and Cuban. Quick little uh, caveat. Um, I haven't even been able to really record many of these Instagram videos today because this, I just updated the fucking app and it's all weird and it keeps freezing on me and acting all weird and weird and... So as you can see I still have a few things. I gotta pack up. I already got one of these, my other bag packed up. Um, and I should be out of here soon. It's really hard being a minimalist, man, for real. So, anyways, I'm really celebrating this 4th of July like a real American should and just celebrating my fucking freedom. And, um, yeah, so me moving from, you know, another one part of Mexico to another, that's, that's all part of the whole fucking game and I'm so happy. Also, my new friend I was hanging out with last night, she was suggesting uh, that we could get some fireworks. So, I'm probably going to get some fireworks. And out here, they're not illegal. And out here, they're actually fucking badass. And out here, I can actually just fucking fire them up from my backyard. Alright guys, enough of me talking here, it's just I miss being in front of the camera because I haven't done a YouTube video, done anything today. I've been kind of taking the last couple days off because, you know, I got a lot of shit to do, but um, regardless, hey, I'll catch you guys later, I promise, alright? Qué manera de comer mierda y gastar tiempo, ¿verdad? Anyways, okay, ya, yeah, hay que empezar a empaquear las cosas porque, um, you know, el tiempo se me acaba. Well, I'm just waiting for the landlord to come in, pick up the key, so I can get the fuck out of here. Finally packed everything up. Hope you can see it. There you go. All right. And should be out of here soon and in my new place in about half an hour. Well, I'm at the new place. Fucking finally here. God, it's so fucking hot. There definitely is a fucking heat wave going around. Even the locals are like, where the fuck is the rain? Why is it so fucking hot? This sucks. Yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, but there's like fucking high winds and you can't really see here, but it's about the fucking pour ra pouring rain. Um, and I decided to let me go to the bank right quick because, you know, I'm that smart. Well, lesson learned. Seems like the only fucking bank I can use out here is HSBC. Anyways, um, yeah, it took me about a fucking hour just to get the money out because, I don't know, I had to transfer between like 30 accounts. Ugh. Thank God I still had some friends out in the States, you know, willing to help me out and I was able to just transfer the money back and forth real quick and get it resolved, but Jesus, man. Fucking banks. Buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Let's make Bitcoin our, the fucking thing and everybody be their own banks.
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I love um, the little corner of uh, the neighborhood I'm living in right now. Definitely a million times better than where I was before. Not to say that where I was before wasn't great, but man, again, did you see what I just saw there with the photography and the photography school stuff? One song I love of Drake, believe it or not, is uh, Made It From The Bottom, Now We Here. Why? Because I've been at the bottom many times, I've been at the top many times, and man, people really do show their true colors, man, at the worst times and at the best of times. Life is great. I hope all you guys out there had an amazing 4th of July, because I had the best fucking 4th of July ever. I love Mexico, period. End the story. Take that shit to the bank. I know I've only been out here about a month, but holy shit, man. I met an amazing girl already. Um, business opportunities already landing. Um, life out here is fucking awesome. It's fucking paradise. I mean, I can go on forever. Good morning, guys. Happy July 5th. Um, yeah, I'm out here at this place. It's called Waldo's, like World's Waldo. Um, to find uh, and buy some stuff. I heard it's like a dollar store, but better. And just in case there isn't, I got a grocery store over there and I'm seeing... So anyways, I got a bunch of stuff I gotta buy for the house. Um, I haven't even had any coffee today. I forgot I didn't buy any coffee and uh, all that good stuff. So, all right guys, hope you guys are doing all right out there. Bye-bye. See you later. All right, so I went to like three stores. I couldn't find jack shit, the dollar store, which is like the dollar store back home pretty terrible so now I'm at this place called super aquí which means like super here so they, I, I, you know I've been told that I can find everything here well I'm out here book bag full of crap more bags of stuff I'm waiting for my uber to get back home so I can unload and uh, see what else I gotta go buy. I know I'm missing some things. <laughs> I was really trying to avoid going to Walmart, but it seems like I gotta go to Walmart. Just a few things I gotta just get there that I just can't get anywhere else. I'm just uh, I'm such a dumb American. Whatever. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast as I was cleaning up the house and stuff and I literally had to stop so that I can, you know, just chill and enjoy the rain and listen to the rain. It's so nice and calming. I'm coming. Parties in LA. No more parties in LA. No more parties in LA. No more parties in LA. Whoa, what happened? Seems like another storms are brewing. Better hurry up and get my clothes out of here. I literally just got it in time. It's, it's already starting to sprinkle a little bit, so 
anyways, storms are coming. Hopefully uh, the sun comes back out again so I can put my clothes out there again. My other clothes. Um, yeah. You already know what's up here. You already know. Yes, it does taste better here. By the way, I'm about to add some coffee to that. It's called the Bon Bon. It's from the Philippines. It's amazing. The Bon Bon is actually made with uh, espresso, so Cuban coffee. But there ain't no espresso out here. There ain't no Cuban coffee. I'm sure there is, but I can't really find it. I gotta find it so I can make it at home because it's not being at the cafe. Also, I'm really am getting pretty skinny. I know it's hard to see here, but every time I look at myself in the mirror or see one of my videos, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on? So yeah, I, I gotta fatten up a little bit. Even even my new girl is like, she wants me to fatten up. Yeah, so since uh, it's still raining and cloudy and there's no sun out, I gotta dry them under the fan. Yeah, not ideal, but whatever, what the fuck am I gonna do, right? Morning, guys. Just kind of woke up a few hours ago. Hangoverish, woke up late. I was gonna go out to a cenote today, which is one of those underground waterfall cave things, but I think I'm just gonna go to the beach. I actually gotta go to the store real quick. I gotta go get some blunts. I'm gonna get a couple things because I think I'm not gonna be home for a few days. I think I'm gonna be, sorry, putting this on. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the beach and then we're gonna Cancun. I would normally just walk it, you know, especially if I'm not that far anymore. But it's really hot, it's really humid today, and um, yeah, I'm really pressed for time. I gotta head to the beach. So, with my beach. No. <laughs> well, I'm about to go to the beach, so I'm taking all my stuff with me. We're gonna have some fun. I got the Uber waiting for me. See you later. Well, now I'm here at the park uh, in the north part of the city. I'm just uh, out here waiting for uh, my ride, my other ride. The one, uh, you know, we're going to the park together and stuff. I mean to the beach. Hey guys, so I'm out here in Cancun. Um, it's definitely not Merida, I'll tell you that right now. Um, it's pretty hood as fuck out here. I'm out here for a business meeting, um, so yeah, that's why I'm kind of like off the grid. I'm just here waiting to meet somebody, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. I'm going to see if I can hang out in Cancun for a little bit, but eh, probably not. I think I'm going to head back um, to Merida. I don't got too much time. This is like about to start raining and stuff. What a long-ass fucking day. I'm like on two hours sleep. Been working like a motherfucker, and now I still gotta wait like another hour, hour and a half before you know, so I can finish this fucking meeting. I'm about to start right now. Ugh. You know, it's really cool because you know, after being here in Cancun for just a little bit, I can really see the humongous fucking difference in Merida, where I'm from, and Cancun. You can't even compare. It's it's totally different. Like out here, feels like Mexico. Over there, feels like a nice town. You know, so I'm Cuban, and I run on Cuban time. But out here in Cancun, they fucking run in Cancun time. And it's like, you know, this thing's supposed to have lasted just a couple hours. I mean, I'm already like seven, eight hours, about seven, eight hours into this. Yeah, so, you know, I got here like around 10.30 in the morning, and it's already like almost 7 p.m. I'm still waiting for this person to show up so I can finish up, you know, the last little bit of the meeting and beat the hell out of here. So hopefully I can be on the road by 9 o'clock and be back home by 10, 11. Morning, guys. It's like, I think 5 in the morning. Yeah, we decided to stay in Cancun tonight because uh, we literally got out of that fucking meeting like fucking forever and like, anyways, it was like fucking 10 o'clock at night. So now I'm here. You guys recognize this place? We're gonna get some coffee because it's still too fucking early for the fucking breakfast here. In fact, the drunks are still getting in here. So we gotta get back to fucking Merida and get to work.
it's this early that they still haven't even made the coffee. They're literally going to be making the coffee right now. So I got to wait for the coffee to be made. <sighs> Definition of true hustle. How about them apples? By the way, Cancun is not as good as you think. It's exactly what you think it is. Well, I'm out here at a rest stop here on the way back from Cancun, going back to Media. Still early in the morning. Um, really tired. Been working really hard the last couple of days. Um, just getting some new clients and uh, trying to get that money. Yeah, so, you know, I was out here and just like on a little business trip because, um, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what I'm going to be doing out here. And so, like, I just started going back to like the whole business consulting thing like I used to do back in Seattle and, uh, yeah, start from there. I'm actually dying to get back so I can smoke a fat blunt. No, I didn't bring anything and I haven't smoked in a few days. Are you kidding me? Once you come out here and you see how it is out here, you're not going to be traveling with that shit, you know? And if you guys know what happened to me in my past uh, in the States. Yeah, so anyways, I'm really glad that I picked Merida, you know, to live. And this is where I've chosen to be my home base. And that I only get to come out here to visit and do work and shit like that. Because, yeah, you know, Cancun is not, that's not my style at all. God, I'm so freaking exhausted. Um, I'm a little ashamed of it, but at the same time, I miss it. I ordered some McDonald's on Uber Eats, uh, and it's on its way. I'm actually looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I had an actual hamburger. Just a few days ago, I was worried, you know? Uh, I wasn't getting any work, running low on funds, et cetera, et cetera. All of a sudden, you know, just putting positive stuff in the universe, abundance comes. So yeah, so not only did I have uh, this huge and awesome opportunity in which I was in Cancun and all that stuff for, um, but then, like, um, that's my Uber Eats thing. But then, you know, on top of that, I get home and I'm bombarded with emails for work. All right, guys, here it is. I did it. I fucking did it. Look at this. Anyways, yeah, so look, okay, I'm going to do it with the, the thing there, all right? Ten, 11 bucks, I think, came out to me. Yeah, actually like 12 bucks. But yeah, this would definitely be a lot more expensive in the States. Probably like 20 bucks. All right. And the delivery, maybe like 25 bucks. But anyway, oh look, crunchy apple pie. I'm having one of these in forever. This is so fucking good. My favorite. The burger tastes like a McDonald's burger. Chicken nuggets taste like chicken nuggets. Fries taste like, t fries taste like fries. Coke, eh. Snozberries taste like snozberries. Yeah, baby. Yeah, anyways. Actually, Things taste do taste a little different. Even even the sweet and sour looks different. It's all different, but eh, it's close enough. This hot sauce is pretty good. It's pretty interesting that they have hot sauce everywhere here. Every single meal has hot sauce here. Even McDonald's. It's actually pretty tasty. It's pretty spicy too. Like really spicy. It's really good though. Can't believe I'm saying it, but you know, I should have known better. But the best part of this whole fucking thing was this apple pie. Oh my God, have you ever had these? These are fucking the best things on the planet. Well, I definitely uh, satisfy my cravings. I think um, next time I want a hamburger, I'm just gonna have to buy a grill. Good morning everyone, I'm alive. Yeah, after eating that McDonald's. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember why I don't eat McDonald's. And, and I think I remembered why I, I tasted a little weird. It felt kind of weird this morning. Yeah, because I never really ate McDonald's. It's been a year since I've really eaten it, but then in, uh, in LA, I remembered that McDonald's was saying, hey, we're gonna start using real meat. So I was like, yeah, let me try it. And I, was, I would actually eat it from time to time because they actually had real meat and it wasn't, Anyways, it wasn't really that bad. And so the real test was always the next morning. 
how your tummy feels, how you feel when you, you know, use the restroom and that whole thing. I don't give a fuck if it's too much information. But anyways, it was always, you know, I felt fine-ish. This morning, not feeling so good. But at the same time, I, had, I was eating a lot of sugar and a lot of crap the last several days because I've actually lost so much weight. I've, I've been trying to actually put some on and uh, it hasn't been working. I think I just need to get back to my fasting, my keto diet, and get back to fucking exercising and stop being a fucking fat bitch, all right? That's what I need to do. And I feel 100% better. And I'll gain that fucking weight. And everything will be great. All right, guys. Just finished filming one of my old crypto episodes, the one I used to do all the time. Um, I'm going to start editing it now. I'm going to do a live show later and get back on it. I got a lot of things to do and talk about. So please uh, check out my channel a little later. Well... I've been working all day on the computer, edited, edited an episode, uploaded it, please watch if you like. I'm about to go out and I gotta pay my phone bill, go to the bank, go to Walmart, all, all in the area. I think it's pretty fucking hot and humid out there too, I can feel it. It was raining earlier, Ugh, that being a Miami weather for sure. I guess we, I guess that's all the Miami theme today, right? That's right, might as well. Dale, a sudar gota gorda. Also, a little travel tip for any Cuban that's out here in Mexico. Don't say you're Cuban. Don't. They don't like Cubans. Everyone's, everyone that's a friend of mine, everyone that's a friend of mine out here has pretty much told me that. They love Americans, though, so just say you're American and you're good to go. A Cuban-American. And yes, the people here are super friendly, super nice, super everything. I'm the fucking asshole. I'm the fucking piece of shit, obviously, okay? <laughs> you can see why they don't look like us Cubans. Somos la pinga. <laughs> but honestly, they're cool as fuck. Quick update on the weather. It's 80 degrees and it's like 95% humidity. I checked real quick and it's hot, but it's not It's not as hot. It's just no, you can't compare this to Miami. This is nothing, this is chill. It's like, um, you know, it's cool. I gotta do like Casey Neistat. 20 minutes in and I feel fine. Now 32 and I still feel great. No, but seriously, I mean, in comparison, you can't compare. And again, humidity is really, really good for you. Like really good for your body, so just saying. All right, I'm going into Walmart. Wish me luck. I'm going in to see if, uh, well, I gotta get a couple things, but I wanna see if they have uh, Cuban coffee, or at least a machine. I just need the machine, and get the coffee. I think, I hope. Fuck, help. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually like hotter in here. I feel like hotter and more humid in here. What the fuck? Ugh. Maybe they have the AC not on or something. I don't know. Sucks. I'm sweating balls, as you can see. All right, I'm shit out of luck. No fucking coffee. They got every other kind of coffee fucking maker. And this is it, this is the only other one. That's not the one I'm looking for. You know, it's really cool when you're like in a different country and you get to see like the priorities in a different country. So here, look at these fucking speakers. Look at this. There's like sections for just speakers. These monster fucking speakers. I also just realized, like, because I really thought there was gonna be a Cuban, the cute coffee maker here, but I realized, you know, why, why I found it like in white places, you know, where white people live, and it's just because it's for the hipsters. That's it. It's not for our Cubans. It's for fucking hipsters. <sighs> so, anyways, tomorrow, as soon as I can, I'm gonna get that fucking PO box. Because, you know, um, besides my friend sending me coffee, I gotta have my aunt or somebody send me una cafetera to make some Cuban coffee because I can't take it anymore. I tried with the American coffee, I really did. Since I'm already here though, I'm gonna see if I can check if they do have espresso or something, just in case. But I got a feeling I'm gonna get this shit imported from Hialeah. Well, they don't have the brands I like, but at least I got this stuff. So, just in case of an emergency, I can at least come get this stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna get that P.O. box and I'm gonna call my fam so they can send me some, some love. Funny side note, I keep seeing a bunch of white people, like, they're like, at least seven feet tall and they're all looking at me and then they look at my University of Miami t-shirt and then they look away. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you know the funny thing? I actually think they're actually Mexican. <laughs> and I think they're just here from, uh, from one of the farms. Not exactly, you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah. I'm Spanish, you guys remember? I'm not white. I guess it just goes to show you, man, for real. Us Hispanics, we fucking blend in anywhere, everywhere. So watch out, America. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, I watch like these other YouTubers or these two white people, and they fucking, you know, hang around Mexico City, and people think that they're Mexican, and they don't even speak Spanish. 
All right, so now I gotta go get some breathe strips. You know, I use little breathe strips to help me sleep because I got allergies and all this bullshit. I can't find those anywhere. I know they exist. I asked the guy here and he told me where to go, so I'm gonna go there and get them now. But yeah. I've traveled a lot, and you know, these things aren't unique, honestly, you know what I mean? Um, believe it or not, in some, in some US cities, some of these things were hard to find as well. And uh, in some, not so much. Like in LA, everything's there. In Seattle, it took a while. Other places, not th Man, I really love my neighborhood. My new neighborhood that I live in right now. I swear to God, I feel like I'm walking around Coral Gables. Again, giving a shout out to the U. But yeah, I really do feel like I'm fucking walking around Coral Gables right now. Fuck yeah, without no harassment. <laughs> Well, I finally found those breathe strips or whatever. They were a fucking pain in the ass to go to. And thank God that there's like 10 pharmacies right next to the, the hospital. So I went to a bunch of them and I was able to get like a few of them. But whatever. I got like 20. You know, I got two packs of 10. Also, while I was there, um, I was just asking out of curiosity. Hey, do you guys sell that uh, Viagra? <laughs> And like, uh, it's it all ladies that work at the pharmacies, by the way. So I was like, fuck it, I gotta ask. So I asked, and she's like, oh yeah, of course, whatever. She, she was super nice. And uh, anyways, listen, guys, not that I have any kind of problems out there, but anyone that's a guy and, uh, you know, modern days today, um, it's like, you already know what's up, you know. <laughs> but anywho, um, they were super nice, super everything. They're like, oh yeah, look, we, these are all the products we have. They're telling me, he's like, oh, so who's the special lady? So anyways, uh, yeah, that was actually pretty cheap. So I got like this one thing of like one dose and cost like three bucks. And it's like super crazy powerful and it comes in like liquid gel form and yeah. So uh, anyways, I, I'm just... Yeah, so I guess like my whole point to all this is just the fact that like everything's super like nonchalant here Everything's cool things like love sex, you know being together like all that stuff is like not Like how it is back in the States or in other parts, you know here. It's all good. It's all wonderful. It's like whatever but Yeah, seriously in this city man, you know like I see all kinds of people like always loving and kissing and a lot of public um, You know public uh, show showing of affection and all that good stuff. It's just it's awesome So like when I was asking that of the lady she it was just like normal. It was nothing anything I think when I finally do get a car out here, I'm gonna get one of these guys. I see them everywhere, you know, like brand new ones, um, old beat up ones, but like all from this generation, not the new Beatles. I really need to get one. I mean, I don't know, I, I feel like, why not? You know, it's funny because like, I see so many Guayabera fucking stores out here, and I, I, I never thought in a million years that I would ever fucking see a Guayabera store outside of Miami, literally. And uh, I think there's more Guayabera stores and I think they wear more out here than there. Yeah, because I brought this up to my friend up the other day and she was like, no, no, no. The Guayabera is a Yucatan thing. Everyone out here wears Guayabera. Uh, you know, the Guayabera is only the Yucatan thing of Majiki. And I'm like, no, that's a Cuban thing. What do you mean? But I wonder, if, I really wonder what the correlation is because honestly, I, I, don't, I really only thought that it was a Cuban thing. And I, I thought I, I knew the history of the Guayabera and like it came from Cuba. Like from the campesinos, you know, like people, the farmers and stuff. That's why they need all the pockets so they can put all their stuff. Well, I hope you guys like my little walking and talking adventures today. I'm going to get back home. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to relax a little bit. And I'm going to go out tonight and see my friend. Uh, you know, it's going well, guys, by the way. Obviously, if you guys were watching a couple... I think I found the place. Let me see if I can do some searching and find what I need. Wish me luck. I'm looking for coffee, mainly coffee. All right, no coffee machine, but they got a bunch of other cool stuff. So I'm gonna see if I can shop around and whatever. I'll check with you guys in periodically or whatever. It's like a cool fucking huge store. Yeah, so after walking around here, I feel like I'm in a giant Publix in Hialeah, only with less people in it. Well, about the same time. If you go in at this time, it's probably not that many people in it. But that's how I feel in here. Un, un Publix award for anyone out there. It's all good though, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking awesome, you know? It's like huge, you know, American type store that I'm used to. 
in fact, too many choices, like shit. But anyway, but yeah, I love it, it's great. And I guess some espresso coffee for the same price as regular coffee, and we try it in the other machine. And yes, you know, the prices here are definitely cheaper for everything. You know, I'm just doing the math on a bunch of stuff, and everything is like crazy cheaper out here, like for sure. So that's always good. Like, the only thing that are expensive is just the American brands, but like, whatever. What the fuck do you want to try American poison? Like, seriously, I'm good with the Mexican poison. <laughs> no, but seriously. It's all good, I love it. It's all fucking, yeah, buddy. No, it actually it is. You can look at the ingredients, you can literally tell. It's like, very different. Actually, it's funny, after walking around and seeing the people here, like, it's, it's not like one in Hialeah. It's actually like one in like Miami Lakes or <clears throat> Pembroke Pines. Like a really, really nice area. Prep City. Prep, Prep City? It's just so big, I keep getting lost every time I'm walking around somewhere. But hey, I, at least I keep finding stuff that I need, like a can opener. I'm telling you. It, the time to find out you need one of those things is not when you need it. I'm trying to find like Vienna sausages and I can't. They have like a whole section just dedicated to um, canned fish, you know, tuna and mayonnaise. Like, literally. And then they have spam. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, super cool that I got that many subscribers already and it keeps climbing faster and faster each day plus my views I'm almost at a hundred thousand views that's so awesome it's so humbling it's so crazy thank you all you know if I still had Spotify I would be playing uh, today is a good day by Ice Cube because today is a really good day um, I had a really kind of shitty day yesterday not so much but eh, shitty day and the weekend wasn't the weekend wasn't the greatest but um, in the end, in retrospect, it was so fucking worth it. It's not even funny. And uh, today, especially, you know, because today has been a really fucking amazing day. And I really want to thank a lot of you guys out there for making it great. So now it's early, mid late afternoon, and I'm uh, just running some errands, walking about, taking care of some shit I gotta take care of. You know, the usual. Well, went to the first bank to get some cash out and then ran out of money. Happens a lot here to ATMs. So I'm going to another one and um, I'm gonna get, see if I can get some cash out because I'm broke. Again, the thing I love about this new area I'm living in I'm like blocks away from not just the touristy area, but the best area to live out here, period. End of story. I feel like I'm in Coral Gables. Shout out to anyone from the 305 that knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, so literally, everywhere I go is just beautiful and, you know, um, genderified and touristy and all that good stuff. So I'm like right in the heart of it. Why I gotta walk so much from ATM to ATM is actually because I have to find the HSBC because they're the only bank because they're a central bank that you know facilitates my uh, money getting easier anyways I guess all I'm saying is buy Bitcoin buy Bitcoin buy Bitcoin let's defeat these central banks once and for all okay um, also I just need a bank account out here as soon as I do that and you know become a, a resident good oh, also um, for anyone's asking I'm single again uh, that didn't work out, but hey, it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Things are moving way better. So, you know, a lot of people keep asking me, so I need to make it clear. Damn, so I'm walking through the park right now, and I smell some fucking weed. Some people have some balls out here. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm not that ballsy out here. I'll do it out in Miami. I'll smoke a fucking blunt driving the car. Not here. No, thank you. <laughs> One thing I also love about living where I'm living and being part of this community is, I don't know, I just love walking around already like I fucking own the place, like uh, like I've been living here forever. I don't like, I don't like being the tourist, you know? Anyways. All right, lesson number one, how to spot a tourist. The bigger the book bag, the more likely they are a, uh, a tourist. I know, I wish I had the image right here, but the lady already left. But there was a lady that had a book bag that was bigger than her, and she was white. Uh, the end. Lesson number two, how to spot a tourist, whenever you see a big dumb motherfucker talking into his phone in another language. If you guys are ever gonna do a move like this, like the one I have, it's recommended to live in a downtown, uptown 
area where everything is easily accessible with feet where you don't need a car or any kind of motor vehicle where you just tell me it's like what I've been doing which is just walking around and and forcing yourself to get to know the neighborhood get to know the area and everything's you know just a few feet away or a few blocks away walking distance and yeah this is fucking awesome also it doesn't beat, you know, to get your cardio in when you get to walk around literally a gigantic, ginormous fucking museum, and it's just like you're like in another planet. I mean, you're just in another country, but again, like best hiking ever. the chance to like walk around my neighborhoods too much but you know one of the cool things is that being in a touristy area everything is um you know so many businesses you know open no matter what as you can see the thing about this place that makes it so fucking awesome is is, is if you come from another part of the world meaning from europe the united states and you have like a nice like little savings you can come down here and literally buy a building and open up a business and have a home all at the same time i mean you know as the dollar tanks it's not just bitcoin that's going to be going up and be more in value but it's going to be like the mexican peso and other things so meaning you know you're going to be able to get more bang for your buck as time goes on but at the same time you know things are increasing in price here all the time because you know people are seeing what's here this is the last video but anyways i love living in this part of town that i'm living in which is like north centro and you know around Paseo Montejo which is like you know beyond touristy but it's also like this part of the city that's getting beautified and it's just amazing seriously I fucking love it out here I'm really glad what happened to me what happened to me this weekend with this girl and just today has been fucking amazing and so on and so forth and god I can't wait to fucking eat dinner tonight it's just even the fucking food out here is amazing I mean everything is amazing no, I've actually lived in a few places where, you know, downtown type places where I get to walk around and do all that shit. But this has to take the cake out here. I really do enjoy getting out of my house and walking around and enjoying the, the city and the sights out here. You can't beat it. I mean, seriously, it's just amazing. Anyways, if anyone out here is in Mer Merida and you guys want to hit me up or you guys are visiting out here and want to hit me up, please hit me up, all right? Uh, it would be great to get together and uh, smoke one, chill. I get to show you guys around. You guys get to show me around, you know? It'd be great. All right, you see that place over there? That's where I went on uh, the last date I went with this girl. Anyways, I discovered a gym. They play salsa music and it's awesome. Hopefully you can hear it. All right, really last video because my phone's about to die. But anyways, I like just like I like walking aimlessly towards my destination and figuring it out when I get there. It helps me get to know the neighborhood a lot better. So for example, like I'm just walking towards the way my house is and figuring it out when I get there. I'm really glad this fucking hurricane in my life is finally over a bunch of shit I've been going through and yeah you know things are finally moving up finally it's been a while it's been I want to say over a year but holy shit I just felt such a cosmic shift this morning Again, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna fucking be making an impact out here. But I just know for a fucking fact I'm gonna be making an impact. I'm gonna be owning some properties. We're gonna be doing some damage out here. And I hope you guys hit me up for real. I've been in many, many, many cities. From, you know, the time that they have been coming from the rubble all the way. I've seen them grow. You know, everyone from Miami, my hometown, to Seattle, to even Vegas for a little bit. And uh, same thing, I'm telling you, man, like this place, even though a lot of people that are from here, like I already say that this place has grown a lot and all that shit, but I'm looking around and I'm like, man, this place has not even begun to grow. Man, for real. And I know a lot of you guys have been hitting me up already from YouTube and here and everywhere and for reals, come. I know a lot of us are thinking Puerto Rico is like the new crypto hub or crypto whatever, but I'm telling you guys, come fucking here. This has a place to be really, 
you know, regulation free away from the, the US and it's just amazing. Really, last video. Honestly, this is really gonna be, an, like places like this are the next crypto hub. This is the version of like Macau or the Philippines, you know, as opposed to like Hong Kong or other places where it's just gonna be more regulations and more, you know, people trying to get their money in the honey pot. That's not happening here. This place is pure fucking paradise. I mean, for real. I'm drenched in sweat, I'm hot. I'm not that tired, but it's just, I feel so good. Man, I'm telling you, man, there's just something in the air out here. Well, definitely no chemtrails, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I'm finally home. This is really the last little video. Um, I'm exhausted, but again, time just flew because it was just a nice little hike, a nice little walk, a nice good exercise, and I got to run on my errands. Life is good. Enjoy your life. Live your life or you will regret it. Don't have any regrets. Please, I beg you, don't have any regrets. Live your life. Today really has been a crazy and amazing and humbling day. Um, for real. Like, I'm about to chill out, finally, you know, smoke a blunt. And um, I'm, I'm, you know, looking over the YouTube videos, you know, I've missed a lot today. Um, so, yeah, one of the things I'm really looking forward to watching right now is uh, I saw Joe Rogan just interview Peter Schiff again. And he interviewed Peter Schiff not too long ago. So the fact that he's interviewing him again and he keeps talking about the economy and bringing it up, it's, it's a lot of things. So, yeah, like I said, today is was a major day. It's been a major weekend. You know, that's it. You know, the economy's tanking. A lot of things are happening, you know, all over the world. And that's it. It's, it's, it's some crazy times ahead. That's it. The point of no return has been passed. Also, on a side note, I'm literally almost, I don't know, you guys can't probably see it there, but I'm like 600 views away or less from 10,000 total views. That's fucking insane. 10,000 total views. Wow. Also, I'm doing some Uber Eats tonight. Um, again, dinner is going to come out to around 5 to $10, and that's including the delivery fee and the tip and all that shit. Delivery fee and tip is like a dollar, $1, a $1.50. Yeah, so when I was living in that other neighborhood, in that other house, I couldn't get, like, Uber Eats and stuff. And I was wondering why, and I was like, yeah, I see, it's the neighborhood that it's in. Um, but anyways, I hear, you know, the delivery fee for the Uber Eats, it's about the same thing as the bus, you know, back and forth, so, you know. Alright, all that for eight bucks delivered to the house. All of it. Well, I just finished my meeting um, and I went really well. Um, yeah, I think I'm hired. I'm the new marketing guy for these guys. Uh, the new um, video production guy. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, man. Sometimes life gives you a kick in the ass just so you can wake the fuck up, man. I'm glad that I got my ass kicked a little bit by life, you know, by chasing that. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, things are just fucking awesome now. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so like I'm in a part of town that has uh, daycare centers and yoga places and uh, fancy barber shops and all kinds of shit. So you already know what part of town I'm in. This hair, I need a haircut already. There's a drone store here, huh? Wonder what else they got in this part of town. God, it's fucking hot out today, and I'm you know wearing clothes and jeans and yeah anyways I need to get back in my shorts I need, to get, I need to get back home and get some shit done god I'm in a real fancy part of town yeah it's pretty crazy right fancy makeup fancy all kinds of shit saw like Volvo BMW store it's a kitchen store alright so Uber's about to get here so I'll catch you guys on the flip side Look at that phone there. Yeah, so like the security guard was just asking me, you know, because I was filming, what I was doing. He's like, oh no, I'm just waiting for a ride. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Whatever. So then I asked her, hey, what are the prices for these things? So like a locale like that, $1,000 US for prime as fuck. And by the way, this is the real expensive part of town, like super expensive part of town. And still you can get like a location prime, prime, huge space, huge everything for $1,000. What the fuck, you can't even get a fucking room in the United States to live in back home. Morning guys. Well, it's not all glamorous living in uh, paradise. 
So like last night, I ran out of water. Yeah, I ran out of water. And it was pitch, pitch black outside, so I couldn't go to the pump and pump more water. So I gotta go do that now. Yeah, the reason I didn't really go last night was because again, pitch black, and I really didn't, I really didn't even know what the fuck I was looking for. I'm like half asleep still. So I just woke up. Um, but yeah, I gotta do laundry, I gotta do a bunch of shit, so I need water. All right, so like I'm outside. This is the water pump thingy. I got up there, but I don't think this was it. Um, I called the guy so he can tell me where it is because I don't know where the fuck it is. Well, I finally figured it out. It was literally just uh, this switch right here. So now it's pumping water all the way to the roof or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, as soon as I see water falling from the roof, that means I got to turn. Yeah, so it literally started all last night when I was taking a shower. And that thing just stopped dripping water. And I'm like, oh, man, what's going on? And then they go downstairs to have dinner and then there's no water downstairs. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, so the water pump takes about 20, 30 minutes, give or take. In the meantime, I got to get my clothes ready. I got to do some laundry. I also got to do some dishes because I didn't get to do it last night because I didn't have any water and so on and so forth. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to do a little more filming out there, but it's just so fucking hot and wet. Um, you know, it was just not good to have my phone out there because water was coming from the roof, doing the laundry, etc, etc, and it's hot. Little fun fact though, I decided to get back on Tinder last night and, uh, and I had to open up a new profile and the whole fucking thing and Jesus man, I, I, this place is just fucking, they, they just fall off the trees here. Yeah, I'm already talking to two of them. I know, I'm being more... So anyways, um, yeah, I promise I'm going to be a lot more careful this time around and um, yeah, I, I'm using Tinder like the way it's supposed to be used, if you know what I'm saying and just leave it at that. Friends. Thank God I'm living out here in Merida, and it's not back in the U.S. It's not liberal hell, but, you know, out here, it's conservative hell. Not really, but, you know, a little bit of a liberal mentality, so it's like, perfect, just like Miami. I feel great, though, because, like, it's just been going so good this whole week. Thank God, you know, because I've been talking about this for, I don't know, months, you know, crypto-wise, but, yeah, even my cryptos, you know, they're going up. My mining is going up, everything's going up, everything's just finally feeling better. Not sure if you can hear it, but the water outside is from the washing machine. So I'm washing the clothes, I got a few loads, I got a bunch of things I got to do. I got to go do some shopping later for some foods, all that good stuff. And I got to work on the computer, so I'm just busy, busy. Also, I'm letting this grow out a little bit because I was told by a couple girls, Hey, how come you don't let this grow out? And I'm like, you know, never really thought about it. I'm telling you, I like the girls out here a lot better. Hey, and by the way, it's not to say that I don't love all girls. I love every girl, pretty much from any part of the world. I'm an equal opportunity employer, so I'm not really into that. But I'm just saying, you know, the girls out here are top notch. Also, Joe Rogan was saying last night that this is now a hate sign. Like, okay, it means white power or some shit like that. Get the fuck out of here. I think it was a troll. I don't think it was real, but... Uh. Anyways, I don't know if any of you guys out there that listen to this know about my financial YouTube shit, but look, guys, the dollar is tanking. If you can, get the fuck away from the dollar. Trade your dollars in for gold, silver, or Bitcoin. Or doing laundry is just a workout in itself. Actually, it's just hot as fuck out here, that's all. But hey, <clears throat> best dryer ever. And super um, good for allergies and all that bullshit. All right. <clears throat> all right, I put everything away. I got to start a live broadcast. I'm already late as fuck. Put the other load in. So many things going on. I hate when people say I don't do anything. I love when people know what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oof. All right, I got to cool off, chill out for a couple seconds, get my head together before I go live. I have to push it back another 10 minutes just so I can, you know, breathe for one second, all right?
Oh, I found some coffee. Woke up in a strange place today. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> I'll see you guys later when I get home. Yeah, just uh, out here uh, waiting for my Uber to get back home. Uh, had a nice uh, Tinder date last night. Pretty well. So like I'm literally in buttfuck Egypt. I'm like outside of the city in like the super duper residential zone and everything out here it's just like it's like like the united states of america it's all super you know built up and brand new and hey guys so i got home a little while ago and i couldn't help myself i had to get right on the computer just record another three and a half hours live as usual and it was really cool today because we actually had like a call in caller when when you guys out there you know who you are you called in danny danny called in <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's just like uh, my brain's kind of like on eh, freeze today because I had a really long night last night. Um, I didn't get too much sleep and it's fucking hot. It's fucking 100 degrees out there today. So I came out here to just check on the water, um, go to the backyard to see if there's any lemons or whatever. And then I found this guy. Actually, I found him in the kind of like the back porch of my house. Uh, that's Brujeria, where I come from. I'm gonna see if I can give this guy some sort of proper burial or whatever. Put him out here so the cat can come get him and eat him. Yeah, you know, it's nature. I feel like fucking Logan Paul. Fucking terrible. Alright, hold on. Let's put him over here. Alright, buddy. Peace. Oh, we had a good life. Whatever that was, that brew idea shouldn't work on me, dog. You kidding me? Shit. I gotta try harder than that. But regardless, there's a scene of the crime there. Let's see if I can bleach that shit later. As soon as I'm done out here. So I don't fucking. Honestly, I just think the fucking poor birdie landed there or died. Or just died, you know? That's all I think happened. Um, that brew idea shit. Again, you know. Me and my narcissistic mind. See, yeah, like I really, you know, see the thing walking or coming all the way here, over here to just do that. Anyways, I drank a lot of water and I feel a lot better. So I think I was just dehydrated. Drink water. It's hot. Hot. Caliente. All right, so the rain, as you can see, is going pretty strong. And at first it was fun in games, it was great. But as you can see, it's coming from this direction, meaning it's coming from that direction and it's coming straight at. So to reiterate, it's coming from this direction. So as you can see, there's a window here. And even though it's closed, the water, so when it was coming at full blast, hurricane style, this whole place got flooded. As soon as I posted the videos of the nice outside, I was like, oh, let me come in, let me record some more. And then I saw this whole floor was flooded, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I had to throw the phone down and clean this whole fucking shit up. 
um, before it got out of hand. But yeah, now it's kind of settling. And so I have like a squeegee, a giant squeegee that I can use to help clean this shit up. See, look, it goes all the way out. Anyway, but yeah, so oh, from here to here, I'm still cleaning it up. But anyways, I had a squeegee to help clean it up, but it's outside. Fuck. So again, it's not all fun and games living out here, um, but it's great though. Um, I wanted to go out and do a little workout, but I was like, oh, the rain, you know, it kind of gave me an excuse to not work out, but then this happened. It's like, fuck, now I'm working out. The squeegee over here, outside these doors over here, out this door. I had to close this up because it was coming in this way. But regardless, I came down here for a second to get like a bucket, and it's all full of water, all full of water. I don't know where the fuck, I honestly don't know where all this water came from. It's not like it's raining. Oh, wait, never mind. I, anyway, I love this though because this reminds me of a Florida, you know? This is like every day now in the afternoon, the rain showers, you know? And that's why when we get hit by hurricanes, they say nothing. We already have. This is why Miami's football team is called, they're called the Hurricanes for a reason. Um, and again, I'm not in Miami, but this is Miami weather. And it's great. I love it. I really love it. This, this stuff, this shit toughens you up, all right? And that's why when we, sometimes we do get a hurricane, it's nothing. We have these every day. All right, so, so far, you know, it seems to be calming down, which by the way, this anywhere else is a thunderstorm, but now, you know, nice and calm down, it's chill, just lightning, you know, flooded streets, you know, the usual, thunder any second now. Okay, now I gotta really clean this shit up, okay? Enough uh, Instagram stories breaks, you guys already get the picture, I gotta finish cleaning this up. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain sideways like in Forrest Gump anymore, and uh, yeah, you know, no more cleaning. Anyways, uh, thank God I had uh, Cuban flood insurance. Just me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, crisis averted. Everything's clean. Everything's done. It's flooded outside. Um, I was just as quick as the storm. Thank God. I'm going to clean myself up a little bit, as you guys can see. Um, yeah. Anyways, and then smoke break because, whoo, that was fun. And as always, you know, it's just another excuse to smoke. Just chill. You know, living the life. But the ghetto, taking short steps one foot at a time and kept my head low and never let go. Cause if I let go, then I'd be spineless. I'm going insane. I'm in my mind, yes, goes out of control and touch on subjects, motherfuckers, freedom. I touch on the shit that they be leaving out. I seen this motherfuckers not smoking. I seen this, I bet you motherfuckers will too. Because it's time, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, still cool. I think it's something in the water, man. It's got to be in the water. Oh, fuck. Chips on a killing spree again. With guillotine for men. I walk around town with a frown on my 